Good morning, everyone. Today is the Sunday, and 17th of the May, and today is the core peach and more. All right, so right around here, right? And more, I'll think about it. But you know, when you're working on the whole body anyway, so we're working, you know, other parts as well. So you're, we're starting with the squat as usual. Stand tall. Press the feet, squeeze your glute, good, good, good. And roll your shoulders and drop and back. Draw in and go down and up. Inhale, exhale. Make sure your navels draw in as you go up. And your starfish, your backside, squeeze at the top. Stretch and flex, stretch, and flex. You're doing great, keep going, down and up. When it's nice and warm day, it helps, right? Warm up quickly, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Four more, yes, three, squeeze, two doing great one and hold 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 push the booties back way back so your toes are kind of floating right close your rib cage shoulders pull back and alternate movement right and left one two three four five six seven eight more eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And now lift your heel and drop. And you're lifting your heels, but you're not going to lift your body. Your hips are still same level. So as your shoulders. Good. Up, up. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your glute, do you feel it? Four, three, two, one. Your right heel's up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six. Keep your weight on the inside, not outside. And hold, switch. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And go back up. Open your toes. Good. And go down. And side to side. Very good. And drop your hips a little bit lower. Levels. Try to. You know, level up with your knees as low as you can. If you can go much lower, over here is okay. But to keep your open toes and your knees and slide side to side. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! And remember this movement? Hold it here. Now that this is the more part, and we're focusing on backside, right? L-shaped hinge. So squeeze your hinge and push your hands forward. Good. Meanwhile, your inner thigh is nice and tight. Draw in your navel. Your core is nice and tight. And press using your hinge on the back. Good. Four more. Woo. Three. Two. And one. And up and down. So still I'm focusing on the back side right here, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And open and down. Woo. And touch your glute and sliding down towards your heel. Now draw in obliques, right? 
and back. Down, one side only, two. Very important, draw in as you crunch to the side and reach. I can't reach really to the heel, but it's closer without losing all the form, you know, oh, posture, good. Make sure you don't do this, right? This looks like a grandma picking up the stuff on the floor. Good. So you gotta look good. Last two more. Whew. Last one and hold. And eight, seven, six, five. Open your chest. Three, two, one. Back. Take a break on your legs a little bit. Because I felt it. I assume you feel it too. Good. And back again. As low as you can. Touch the hips and sliding your right hands all the way to the calves or reaching a little farther across or heel without twisting this. Keep your open chest and back up. So you're working on obliques. Stretch here and squeeze there. Good. And meanwhile, I'm just touching my butt on the back with my left hand. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Make sure you draw in first and crunch to the side. Four more. Three. Doing great. Two. Reaching, reaching. Last one and hold. And eight, seven, six, five. Pull your left shoulders back. Down and up. Oh, me cow. Grab the heavy dumbbell. Oh, good. And keep your open toes and knees, right? Grab with the both hands, whatever comfortable. Good. And push. It's um, it's like a sumo squat, but it's deadlift. So push the hips back and reaching to the floor. Good. And go back up. Right there with the heavy weights. So you feel the weights and squeeze back up. Your back, upper body get parallel to the floor. And you're going to feel the hips and your hammies and your inner thighs as you go up. Of course, drawing your navel and your Arms are straight down from the shoulders, naturally, and back up. Inhale, exhale. Push the hips back. For, you know, for the squats, this is a no-no for, you know, form, right? Your upper body should stay up like this. But for the deadlift movement, we're gonna focus on hips and hamstrings. Um, Good. Four more. Up. Three. Feel the stretch and squeeze and draw in. Two. And back. Last one and hold. Hold it, hold it. Up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold and bring your weights to the stomach. And draw back your shoulders, right? And down. Now you're working on your arms and your back. Of course, when your dumbbell is reaching to your stomach, draw in instead of sticking out, right? I can't touch my skin because I'm drawing in. It's even flatter. Good. And Let's do a little bit lower your upper body parallel. Good. And your elbows on the side at the top. Here we go to the side. A little bit. Squeeze. Four more. Exhale. Two. Last one. Up. Your elbows good and tight. Hold it. Four. Three, two, one, slowly down and back up. How's everyone? 
sip water anytime. Very good. All right, let me sip too. Okay, let's do use the dumbbell since we have one. Okay, put it on the lower tummy. Open your knees, froggy looks like. Good. And your uh, bottom of the feet together. Good. Then you're going to lift your hips, but not this way, right? So curling up your tailbones from the bottom towards up and drawing your navel. And with the 10 pounds, right? If you gain weights on around your hips, 10 pounds, that's how you feel. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Usually you don't notice because it's not gonna happen overnight. But extra weight, so you feel it and lift with the muscle, right? And your glute. At the same time, your abs tighten up, down, good. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, keep your knees open, three, good, curl up, two, small movement, but it's very effective, and hold it, good, and hold from there, one, two, three, close your stuffish, squeeze your stuffish, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. And now your knees up and down. Keep your navel draw in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold it, hold it, hold it. Woo! And down. And your feet flat and up. And keep it tight, tight, everything. And step away, away, one more, one more. Where do you feel? More on the uh, hemis, right? Good. We need to train the hemis, right? Balancing with the quads and also supporting your glute. Doesn't get too saggy, right? And up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, Five, squeeze, squeeze, two, one, and down. Ah, straight legs and push the weights up and above. Whew. You feel the uh, right the arch, press down this time and bring your one leg up and reach. I'm not lifting my shoulders yet, one side only. One, and two, drawing your navel every time you lift. Three, and four, push the navel, make sure it's all flat, and one, two, three, four, four more, three, two, one and hold, hold it, hold it, Ooh. and bring your other leg, ready, press down your navel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four more, four, three, two, one, and bring the other leg, good, and overhead, make sure you don't make the arch, keep it at a flat, and up, down, and up, down, and up, press on the navel, oh, that's hard, good, it's because it's 10 pounds, not 5 pounds today, but you can focus, you don't have to go all the way above or close to the floor, good, just to hold it here if you have to and press the navel. That's more important. Good. 
Two more. Exhale up. Last one. And up and keep in. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're doing good, right? Stay with me. Four, three, two, one, and hold right here. Good. And both up, hips up. Good. And one, two. If you need it, rest your neck and you can drop your weight. But if you want to do the hardest, keep your shoulders up and lift every time you lift your tailbones. Join your navel. Your lower tummy. Good. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> Woo. How's everyone? Drop your weight. Good. Now, facing down. Oh, yes. And whew. ready? Of course, plank. All right. So hold it now, and you feel the good resistance from the gravity, right? Gravity works for you. That's their friend, not the enemy. Just to get along with it. Okay, so lift your right leg, but don't rock your body. Keep your hips nice and flat. No, I don't want a flat pancake butt, but flat means square. And my ankle is flexed. Can you feel it? Four more. And three, if you have to, bring your knee down. Two. And one. Squeeze and drop. Good. Now, your left arm. Hold on your waist, right? Right here. And try to make the square shoulders to the floor. It's already tough. Good. And back. One more. So keep the square shoulders. And if you need it, open your toes a little wider. Good. And bring your hands to the other side of the waist. Whew. This is tough. And your twist. And back square. Then lift your leg. And back. Try one more time. Ready? So hips are square. Shoulders are square. And touch on the waist. And twist. And back and flat. And lift your leg down. Child's pose. Ah. How's everyone? Did you feel your core, your hips, your leg, everything? Very good. All right. You had enough break. Let's get on again right here. So shoulders away, by the way, from your face and away each other. So it means stretching towards the both sides, right? Join your navel, squeeze your glute, good, and hold it. Keep holding it. So if you want, push the uh, heels out a little bit. Good. And lift your left leg without moving your upper body. Right? Ready? One, two, three. If you have to, bring your knee down. Four more. Three, two, and one. Take a break. Back again. Ready? Now your opposite hand. Touch. Good. And hold. Make sure shoulders are level and back. It's hard, but try not to move your hips to help out, right? And down, up, good, and back. Oh. Try one more time, ready? Squeeze nice and tight in here and back. Okay, so another combo right there, right here, 
twist and back and left leg up oh, and back oh one more ready neutral neck touch twist back and lift and down down ah, i think that's pretty good so hope your arms are okay and my arms can start getting like all the stump here okay so stay on the floor down to the um elbows and your hips are level and your leg is to the side good and put your hands on the same side with the leg stretched good right here and lift now you can tilt your hips right now and you bend your elbows and down and up down so you're kind of working your arms and shoulders at this point right down open to the side join your navel good four more three two and a one so your hips are open and keep your foot all in the air and you're gonna feel the upper hips eight seven six five four three two one and down and child's pose good and the other side same thing right here and side so try to keep the weights on inside of your knee as much as possible don't lean too much but you can you know you, you do whatever the you can the best ready so right here and lift and down and lift if you can lift your foot on the hip level that's great and you're working on the upper hips especially right i'll go a little lower even up down but my left elbow is a little cricket down join your navel lift your hips no that lift your leg and squeeze your hips good two more up down and push up and hold and one two three four five six seven give me bonus four three two squeeze and hold shifting weight back a little bit and down oh good job everyone still going not on your hands on your foes good and flex your right ankle and lift your bended knee leg good and just imagine you're pushing the um, some ceiling with the bottom of your foot and you don't open your hips right here and evenly distribute the weight and down and squeeze up got it you press up the ceiling down up so at the top looks like it's 90 degrees perfect right your knee is about hip level and you're working on the max maximus gluteus good the big one right good every time you go up push the foot up and squeeze and your shoulders away from the face good and hold it right here and pulse one two three four five six seven keep squeezing your glute four three two one and hold 
and twist your hips waist and down good and open your knees to the side and back twist and back twist and back four more three join your navel as a twist two and one beautiful and extend your leg and back out and back so you can do this without you know connection with your brain i'm doing without connection now we're connected oh yeah i feel much more good i hope you do that the same thing four more and three how's your hands feeling same weight and one and hold and eight seven six five four three two one and down and lift straight and cross the other side good it's a little rainbow and outside up and cross so at the time your shoulders keep it square just working from waist and down you don't have to go all the way to the side just outside is okay but if you want to go a little more you know that's up to you good four more four up three try to make your hips square as possible last one out and cross good how's everyone you have another hips right another hip so we're gonna work on it on your foes or you can go here if you prefer to do it your choice all right so make sure you draw in no arch right good oh. what did i do first <laughs> All of a sudden, I, I lost it. Okay, so uh, right here, right? Okay, so uh, flex your hips to square, draw in, and press the ceiling. And down, straight up and down at this point. At the top, you feel the, all the flex. Good. Your glutes and your hemis. Draw in, up, up, four more, and three, maintain the center weight, good, and up and hold, your knee is about hip level at 90 degrees, and one, two, three, four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one and hold the 90 degrees and open your knee and back open your knee and back so keep your shoulders square and just from the waist and lower and of course you draw in your navel even tighter when you open your knees good four more and three doing great two you're fabulous your hips are getting tighter and bonus four three two one down Whew. back here extend your leg from the heel and bring back with the heel and out and back out and back keep your hips nice and tight so as your hemis good four more exhale out good your posture check check neutral neck out and hold and cross 
the other side. So you feel stretch all the way from the armpit and press the hands right and up into the side, up and side. So you gotta keep the torso, upper body, very stable. Good. And up. That means you're using your ab strength. Good. And if you're gonna go wider, that's your choice. Or higher, but don't make the arch, right? You know it already. Doing great. Keep going. Woo. Give me four more. Four. Out. Three. Oh, yes. Two. Last one. Out. Down here. Ah. Good job. And let's put child's pose. Woo. Oh, my hands. A little tight. Out. Good. Okay, okay. Good job, everyone. All right, so. Whew. Let's do the pigeon stretch. Yes, it's done. It's a cool down. Congratulations. So right here, whichever side, front, good. And lift your hips. Your, the other leg is straight back. Your hips are square to the floor and side to side. Good. And you feel good stretch, very good. And back in center, drop and slowly stretch forward. Good, going down, good. As low as you can go and same side as your front knee, cross the hands over the other and you stretch your arms, shoulders, obliques. Good, and inhale. Exhale. Good. Pushing back up. And if you can, grab the, the other side ankle. Good. And square the hips and bring your heel to the glute. So now you feel the quads stretching. You got it from the side like this. Good. If you can't reach it, that's fine. Just bend. And keep the square in the center. Good. And drop. And bring your leg and stuck. Double pigeons. My right knee is not going to be able to level. So I push a little bit. Already feel it. And hinging from the hips. And your upper body is nice and straight. Drawing your navel. And slowly go down. So your upper side feels it and reaching reaching okay as far as you can go and cross Woo. inhale exhale one more inhale exhale oh we have my hips <laughs> i feel it okay so back again the other way Double pigeon, good. And press down a little bit if you can and center and draw in and hip hinge. And you feel this side, good. And reaching, reaching if you can. Ooh, very good. And cross, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, push it back and this side straight back and lift side to side. Do you feel it with this mermaid stretch? Good. And back and here and drop your hips in center and hinging from the hips again, going lower. If you already feel here, here, that's fine. Make sure you're uh, straight, straight side, push your hip bones, push towards the floor. Good. And go down. Ah. And this side, cross. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more inhale. Exhale. Oh, yes, I feel it. Pushing slowly back. And grab the ankle if you can. And if you can't square the shoulders, that's fine. Just to pull back. Or if you are flexible enough, square again, hips to square. And you're going to feel the quads nicely stretched. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Very good. All right, open your knees as wide as you can. Bend 90 degrees. Your shoulders and hips are same level. Bend your ankle and down to the elbows. And of course, shoulders away from the face and push the hips towards back between your heels. And the inside of your foot is in, in, in a line is on the floor, nice and flat. Inhale forward, exhale back. Ooh. One more inhale, exhale back and hold. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale. Ooh. Four, three, two, one. Slowly back forward and cross the legs. Good. We just do. Uh, so let's do the side stretch. We did a little obliques. Good. And open your chest. And close your chest. Facing down. Good. And reach out the other side. Don't lift your hips. And open your chest. Look up. And look down. Nice. Back over the shoulder. Your obliques towards hips. All stretch. And big circle. Open, cross the fingers, drop your tailbone, round your back. You feel good, stretch on your back, right? Or you're around your spine, everything. Shoulders away by the way, drawing your navel, overhead. Cross the fingers in the back, push the shoulders back, chins up. Inhale, exhale. Good. All right. Arms, shoulders, head. Even we didn't really work towards the arms, it's always nice to have a stretch, right? Your shoulders and everything. Inhale, shoulders, head, your neck. Good. And triceps. Side and twist facing down. I really like this twist in things. Good. And back again to the side and face down a little bit. And always drawing your navel, even stretching. Good. Or when you're eating, when you're cooking, whatever, when you realize it, draw in your navel and squeeze. That might make a difference. And second one, inhale. Exhale, everything. Thank you so much, everyone. Joining me on Sunday morning. All right.